The price of Shiba Inu is currently at what experts are calling a make-or-break point. Apparently, this point will influence actions within the ecosystem, including the actions of investors and holders. So, if you have any kind of vested interest in Shiba Inu, this is one video that you cannot afford to miss. Disclaimer Welcome back to the channel, Sheep Army. Thanks for joining in for another video. If this is your first video on this channel, you're more than welcome here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you want to continue getting regular updates on the Shiba Inu ecosystem and the general crypto market. Now, let's get into the video. Just before we get to the big news, there's a new development. It's been 100 days since the Sheep Burn Portal was launched. So, what better time to take a look at all of its achievements than now? First off, the Burn Portal was launched in collaboration with Rayoji Vision, the team that is responsible for the Burn Reward distribution. The big idea was, and still is, to see Sheep be more profitable than it currently is by being the avenue through which the circulating amount of Sheep can be reduced. So basically, the Sheep Burn Portal was made to allow Sheep holders to burn as many tokens as possible and do it quickly and safely. Now, the partnership between Shiba Inu and Ryoshi Vision has not been without its issues. The major issue, possibly the only one, is the slow dispersal of the reward token. Basically, holders who burn their tokens on the Burn Portal were promised Ryoshi Vision tokens, but a lot of people who burned are yet to receive theirs. Understandably, they made their dissatisfaction known to the Shiba Inu dev team, who then expressed their dissatisfaction to the Ryoshi Vision team. What we could gather from that whole thing is that the Shiba Inu team is not responsible for the distribution of the reward tokens. That's entirely the Ryoshi Vision team's responsibility. That said, Ryoshi Vision has publicly claimed responsibility for the delay and has promised to work on it. So, fingers crossed, I guess. Anyway, is the creation of that burn portal justifiable? I have to say that it is more than justifiable. Since the portal was created on April 25th of this year, more than 61 billion sheep tokens have been taken out of circulation forever. What this means is that we've been clocking in a minimum of 4 billion burns per month, which is more than twice the 1.5 billion burns that were happening per month before the burn portal was launched. These burn portal burns have come from over 2,000 different wallet addresses, and the burns cost more than $700,000. What's more, about 90% of the burns that have happened since the burn portal was launched happened via the burn portal. This could be because the burn portal makes things more seamless or because there are rewards for using the portal. Whatever the reason though, it's great to see that these burns are happening. That said, the Sheep Burn Portal is not the only avenue for burning Sheep. We also have Shiba Play, which is one of the business arms of the Sheep Superstore. The store announced recently that it had burned more than 2.5 billion tokens. We don't know how long it took to burn that amount, but it still seems impressive. At this point, we'll take any burn avenue we can get, don't you agree? Now let's get into the big news. According to FX Street, Shiba Inu price shows a dual outlook where it could go either way depending on the overall market bias. However, since many altcoins are relatively underperforming a bunch of altcoins, Sheep could see a different outlook. Now for a bit of backstory. Between April and June of 2022, the price of Sheep took a 76% dive. Understandably, a lot of people were concerned about this price drop. In fact, you might remember that a number of people pulled out of the project selling off their tokens. However, things got better. Between June and today, the price of Sheep pumped by an impressive 68% and the number of Sheep holders has insanely increased too. Notice that it took the token a shorter time to pump than it took to dump. This is something that we definitely love to see. Anyway, with that incredible pump, Sheep has moved past its former support level and experts are saying that the chances of a bullish run are quite high as a result. To be clear, both a bearish run and a bullish run are possible at this point, which is nothing new or special, but experts are saying that a bullish run is the more likely outcome considering current circumstances. One of the circumstances being considered is actually the price of Bitcoin. According to FX Street, the best result can be obtained by looking at the Bitcoin price, which is the driver and the provider of the directional bias to the crypto ecosystem, at least for the majority of the time. Now, considering that the price of Bitcoin is mostly been on an upward climb, it's probably safe to say that a bullish run is possible for SHIB. It is at this point that I remind you that neither this video nor the entire channel is for financial advice. So, if you're looking to make a decision concerning your crypto portfolio, it is important that you do your own research. Meanwhile, what do you think? Could Shiba Inu actually be perfectly positioned for a bullish run? Tell us in the comments section below. 
Moving on from SHIB, let's look at another token within the ecosystem, Bone. In yesterday's video, we talked about how the acquisition of Bone has been on the rise as we prepare to welcome Shibarium. Just recently, Gate.io asked its followers to vote for their favorite crypto project among 10 options. The top three most voted projects would move on to the next stage with the whole point being to list the winner. And Bone happened to be one of the options. Surprisingly, Shitoshi lent his voice to the campaign, encouraging the community to vote Bone so as to get the token into the right hands. Well, he just lent his voice to another campaign to list Bone. This time around, the campaign is being run by Stealthax. Just like Gate.io, Stealthax already has Sheeb as one of its listed tokens. But it's asked its followers to choose their favorite tokens among three options, one of them being Bone. And it looks like the winner will get listed. The tweet reads, it's time to evaluate possible listings. We've had quite some projects in mind lately, but it's RLDT, Quack, and Bone that seem to be the brightest. Share and vote the coin of your liking. Looking for the most active community. Now, unlike the gate.io voting process, there is no link that takes you to where you vote. You only have to comment bone under that post and share the post so that others can vote too. The token with the most mentions wins, so let's get bone into the right hands before the launch of Shibarium. Now to general crypto news. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 SHIB. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck. James Howells, a 37-year-old man, says that he accidentally tossed down a hard drive containing 8,000 bitcoins worth of more than $150 million. He says that he bought the coins back in 2009 when they weren't worth much, but the value has obviously since soared, even hitting more than $450 million in tokens in November of last year. For a couple of years now, he has been trying every means possible to recover the hard drive and has even promised a reward to anyone who has any information regarding that or can help him to find it. His most recent effort is to employ the use of robot dogs, which were previously used by NASA to sniff out his hard drive. From what I've gathered, this effort will cost him more than $10 million. The AI company that owns the dogs has expressed its firm belief in the success of this operation. Apparently, the robot dogs were used to recover a hard drive from the 2003 Columbia Space Shuttle disaster, so they should be able to do it again. The company said that they believe that about 90% of the BTC coins can be recovered. Unfortunately, the Newport City Council, the powers that be in the area where the external drive was apparently lost, are not excited about this excavation plan. The council says that the excavation poses a significant ecological risk to the environment and, as a result, they are considering not issuing a permit. At this point, we can only hope that things work out for Hals. 8,000 BTC is a lot of coin. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there. If you're a true Shiba Inu fan, then you must check out this video.